All right, we're out in this vibrating Peterbilt. You can see we're at idle. I'm gonna have to touch the pedal because it's gonna shut off. We're in California. So on diesels here, they have to shut off after three minutes, five minutes, something like that, and they ruin any kind of test you wanna do. Let me put the idle up. Let's look at our pressures, right? 283. And you can see right here, it goes up to just over 300, I think, 307 PSI. Um, 298 PSI. Uh, we went to uh, 308 PSI. Oh my God, it's horrible. No, that's what is cycling on the fan. The fan cycles off and on. You can see right when the fan hits, the fan cycles. So let's see here. Um, here's the fan where the fan shuts off at 150, well, a little around 150, 145, 155. The fan shuts off. It allows the pressure, the high side pressure to ramp up, 300 PSI, it overshot a little bit. And then you see as soon as the fan really kicks in, boom, immediately the fan pulls off that condenser, the pressure jets on down, comes all the way back down to around that 150 mark, and the fan shuts off again. And it repeats the cycle over and over again. Uh, outside ambient air temperature, we're rather, or no, that's not, yeah, uh, pressure, not temperature. We're 35 PSI, but we're at idle. See idle up there, 590, 600 RPMs. Um, let's see what our temperature, we're 60 something out the dash. We are 61 degrees at idle. Remember idle sucks. Let's hit a little RPMs. Let's data graph this because I have to give this. I forgot to do this and give this to the customer. Let's put the RPMs up a little bit. Watch the RPMs. Let's go up because we're about to kick out again with that damn California shut off the diesel after a minute. Um, there we go, about 750, a little over 750, almost 1,000 RPMs. And what's this vehicle do on its temperature? I think I see the temperature coming down a little bit. Nope, it's staying rock steady. It's not, this one is not a variable displacement compressor. This is just clutch on, clutch off. And we're saying rock steady. Outside temperature is 88 degrees outside. That's the outside ambient temperature. Uh, superheat 10 degrees of superheat subcooling well I just heard the fan I think kick on to the fan no, let's see uh, it's still going up check it out watch the pressure look at the superheat and subcooling pressure oh the fan is is on we got fan on oh that's engine rpm I think kicking in the fan a little bit god damn it I can't see the fan Look at the low side pressure. It's definitely on, the clutch has not kicked out. Okay, now we should uh, shut the fan off and let the pressure go back up again. There it goes, remember the graph? But I have a higher RPM, so I'd... let's see how that's affecting it. Where we got coming out? We got 59 degrees, it's hot in here. This, this has been sitting, it's 100 and I think it was 118, 119 degrees in here for hours. All I'm sitting on a hot chair. So it's gonna take a long time for this to be in recycle to cool all this. All this has, to, this is hot. This is super hot. Everything I touch in here is hot. So this temperature will not go down. Even on recycle mode, even though it's 80 some degrees, the temperature will not go down coming out of the dash. It's recycling this cold air is hitting all the material that is hot and it's literally soaking up the heat out of all the solid steel, brass, glass, everything that's in here is robbing away the heat and absorbing into the cold air and going through the evaporator. That's why this uh, temperature is so high right now. Let's go back down here. Let's look at our, uh, we're still doing the same. Even though we're up there at a thousand RPMs, you could see how it's cycling let's go back uh, and as it's cycling look at our subcooling look at the subcooling change as airflow changes 
Remember, airflow is king. Look what it's doing. It's making us look like we have 55 degrees of sub, but there's no fan. Yeah, the fan just went on. Now it's going to go back to reality. Airflow will mess you up. If you're one of those guys who are trying to set subcooling because it's a TXV off of airflow, if your fan is off just a little bit off your engine fan, your condenser fan, it will screw you up. We are not getting no negative subcooling. Okay, I'm gonna let it go back to idle. All right, I'm gonna snap saw all this for the customer. This goes to the customer. All these snapshots go to the customer. Go over here, go to create PDF, create PDF, create a PDF. It'll take the combination of all, everything it has for air temperatures and pressures, do all the math, kick it out for you on one report. Let's uh, do the report up like this. Give me a report, there we go. Let's see if we can focus for you. Because this is an Apple and they don't like to focus. It doesn't matter if you spend a thousand bucks or $1,500 on your phone. Apple sucks. Come on, Apple. Or my eyes too are a little screwed up. I'm sweating. So this is what the report looks like. Here's your refrigerant side. I hope you guys can see this. I hope this is clear for you. There you go, it cleared up. This goes to your customer, and I'm not YF refrigerant. I didn't set my refrigerant. I gotta go back and reset my refrigerant. So that's not correct. Let's go back here. Let's go into refrigerant. Oh, it's, it's set off my selector, off my gauges. I gotta change this back to 130, uh, 134. So I'm gonna go correct that and then take my snapshot for my customer so my customer could have this. This is the way it's leaving after I'm working on it and uh it'll be in the shop I'll, I'll have a copy of all this customer will have a copy of this and the shop i'm working for who i'm doing this for they will have a copy of it we have how it's operating right now data log we're going into 12 minutes right now data logged off a period of time everybody should be doing this there is no excuse to be handwriting and shit no more those days are gone guys who are still working like it's 1960 come on guys catch up with the times so let's get the rpms up there a little bit there we go 750 1000 and when i snapshot this i gotta get this back i uh, get this back down because you don't drive around in idle all right guys i'll see ya i'll finish this one out adios